slide, sleep, flip. Rex Chang and his family can't exactly see or feel the new green upgrade at their apartment, but they know it's there. This system can reduce a lot of the uh, pollution. Rex is talking about the new solar water heating system that was just installed on the roof of the Domingo Viernes Apartments, located here in the International District. So I was so excited when I moved in, they told me, oh, this is the, the solar system, you guys are going to change that. The city's Office of Housing HomeWise program recently received a $2.2 million grant from the U.S. Department of Energy to test new energy efficiency technologies. And some of that grant money was used here at the Domingo Viernes Apartments to put in a new solar water heating system. This was a technology that we knew was ready for prime time. We knew that there were a couple of candidate buildings that had some of the basic infrastructure that was needed to make the technology fly. This is taking the sun's heat and converting it into a warm water for domestic use. Chris Full is a property rehabilitation specialist for HomeWise and headed up the project. He says the solar water heating system is different than traditional solar panels. Instead, these are insulated solar tubes that use the sun's energy to heat up water. And they're specifically designed to work in our gray climate. It is comprised of these glass tubes that are double walled and have a vacuum and that insulates against air temperature, cold penetrating in, preventing uh, uh, solar heat from making it, solar heat from making it into the system. Heat is then collected and circulated within the tubes located in the 20 panels on the roof before it goes to the boiler room where there are heat storage tanks. If the water needs to be heated a little bit more, the boiler will kick in. But even on a recent gray day, the system was proving to be very efficient. And the 300 gallons of thermal storage water that was be exchanging the heat from the panels was at 103 degrees. So given our goal was trying to reach 120, we were 75% of the way at that point in time. It was a, a, a very uh, excellent lesson in the effectiveness of very simple, ultimately simple technology. And that fairly simple technology is going to make a big difference for the residents here. The Seattle Chinatown International District Preservation and Development Authority owns the Domingo Viernes Apartments. The nonprofit group says they're really excited about the system, not only because it's more green, but also because it will help save their residents some green. And it's the first family housing that was built in the district in over 50 years. And so um, it was really important for us to make this as energy efficient and try to keep the costs uh, low for our residents. HomeWise also installed solar water heating systems at two other affordable housing units in the city, at the New Central in the International District, which is also owned by SCID PDA, and at the Broadway Crossing in Capitol Hill. These are all green improvements that will help to clean up the environment and continue to strengthen the city's commitment to being more environmentally friendly. And energy conservation often ends up being cheaper than purchasing on the open market or developing our own sources of power. So conservation has the advantages of being super clean, of course. Uh, it's inexpensive. It creates jobs here locally as opposed to other places. Um, and it is supported by the community in general. And the community will soon be able to see firsthand the effectiveness of these new improvements. As part of the grant program, HomeWise will soon be putting in equipment to track the efficiency of the new solar water heating systems. The results will then be posted online to be shared across the country, putting Seattle once again on the green map. There will be lots of information sharing nationwide, and we'll make sure that the experience we had here in Seattle um, helps people all over the country and we hope that the reverse happens as well.